Scotty. Bruce Scotty. What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today something a little bit different. I thought I'd show you behind the scenes and share with you my camera rig that I use for 99% of all the videos on my channel. It's pretty simple, but I think it's pretty effective. Before we jump into the video though, if you're new here, my name is Scott Davies. Welcome to the channel. I love to review PEVs, personal electric vehicles, skateboards, bikes, scooters, EUCs. I also like to do holiday vlogs. We've got one coming up very soon, the Vegas vlogs. That's happening in March. And I also like to review from time to time tech and gadgets. So if you're into that sort of thing, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you like this video, please give it a, a thumbs up. It really does help not only with the YouTube algorithm, but also lets me know that I'm on the right track and, and you guys, the audience, are liking what I'm making. The very first thing, and probably one of the most important, the selfie pole. And I've been through so many different sticks to find the right one. I have used the Insta360 stick for quite a long time, but I'm constantly replacing it until I found this one. This is a new one from Telesyn, and I did buy it. This is not a this is not an affiliate product. It's 1.3 meters long, so really nice and long for getting those low down shots behind the skateboard, riding along behind your back, swooping around, all that sort of thing. It's nice and strong, and it doesn't slip, which is the main thing. A few of the sticks I've had fall down, or you gotta twist them to unlock them. And when you're trying to do quick movements, that's super annoying. This one, nice and tight and easy to use. The second point I like about it, it does come with a little Bluetooth remote. I don't use it that often because I feel like I'm gonna lose it, but it is there and it does connect to your GoPro camera, which is a cool addition. The last feature and my absolute favorite and the reason why I switched to this over the Insta is it has a built-in tripod in the bottom. Push a little button to release it, folds down, and this will support the GoPro at full length with almost, or well, with no wobble when there's no wind, but you can still put it on uneven ground and it still stands up most of the time. Now moving up the stick, we're gonna to come to the media mod. The media mod is what makes everything you hear in my videos possible. It wraps around the GoPro Hero 10 and it allows me to plug in my wireless microphone, which we'll talk about very soon. It also has a USB-C input, so you can charge the GoPro whilst it's in the media mod, and it has a mini HDMI out as well. So you can plug this into your computer and use it to live stream. I don't use any of those features. I purely use the 3.5 mil in jack for the wireless mic. Now inside the media mod is the GoPro. That's the camera. I use the GoPro Hero 10. The 11 is available. I don't need it. This one works perfectly. I did used to use the nine. I upgraded to the 10 for one reason only, color profiles. The Hero 9 had flat and GoPro, and there was just no sweet spot. It really was like Goldilocks's porridge. The flat profile, well, it just required extra work with color grading and LUTs, and I don't have time for that. The GoPro color profile was just too vivid. The darks were actually too dark, the blues were too like extreme, and it would lead to a lot of graininess in the footage. When they released the 10, they added a third color profile. It's called neutral or natural, one of the two. And it's perfect. It is the in-between. It's the Goldilocks of color profiles for the GoPro camera. I always have it on neutral or natural. I never change it. And I think it always looks pretty good. Now, attached to the GoPro, and this is something I used on the 9, I've used it on the 10, and I will keep using it on the 11 if I ever need to buy one. And that is the Max lens mod. Screws on, screws off, nice metal brackets, that's super strong. And what it does is two things, or two very important things when it comes to action sports. One, it locks, it locks the horizon. So that means if I'm talking to the camera like this and I flick it down to do a board shot, it stays up the right way. I don't need to then go into post, cut it, flip it to get the shot. The horizon is always locked and it just makes it seamless and very, very smooth. The second point, it is extra wide and extra stable. 
Now, GoPros are extra wide, but you get that horrible fisheye in on the edge. This gives you the same width as SuperView with almost no fisheye in. And as I mentioned, it also makes it more stable. So without that on, it actually gets a little bit shaky. With the max lens on, it is buttery smooth. And the other big point about the Horizon leveling is that when you're filming, you don't really want to be concentrating on where the camera is or how you're holding it. So you can be filming with your camera behind you and accidentally put it on an angle and you're still getting a perfectly leveled shot. Okay, we're almost at the end. The last two things. Audio, very important for a review channel, right? I use the Rode Wireless Go. You can see it on the top there. That plugs in to the media mod, you see the red cable. And that connects wirelessly to this little thing here, which goes on my pocket. Sometimes I put it up here directly. And then I have a lapel mic right there. I have the lapel mic under my t-shirt so it reduces the wind. If I'm going extra fast, say doing a speed test on a, a Zeus Pro or something, I know I'm gonna be going like 50, 60K an hour. I'll also put a road wind muff on it. And that's how I can go so fast and you can still hear me talking very clearly with almost no wind. And now the last thing and probably the most boring thing I carry with me, this little black box. And what it is, is a battery holder. That's all it does. It does charge the batteries up when you're at home. You can plug it into the bottom and it charges all three batteries at once. It doesn't have any built-in batteries. It's not like a power bank. But I can have this in my back pocket with three batteries in there, one in there, and I know I can film for over four hours. That is my camera rig. I hope you've enjoyed this little look behind the scenes. Uh, if you've got any comments or questions, as always, chuck them down below. And just a reminder, if you've enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are new, hit that subscribe button before you leave talking to you and well that's it so thank you so much for watching don't forget to skate safe ride safe have fun and we'll see you on the next video scotty who's scotty